today i will show you how to integrate google map for ios uh, in react native's new architecture using fabric so first i have created a default react native project for now uh, so this is the default react native project next you have to enable the new architecture so you can go to the documentation go to the ios section and uh, cd to your ios directory and run this command but if you might face two issues so first one is this issue to resolve this you have to cd back to your uh, root of your react native project and run this command uh, once that is run you can cd back to ios and try running this if you still face issue it could be because of this i already have a video on my channel explaining in depth about this issue so you can check that out or you can try running this command or check out other answers as well it might help you but once this command runs successfully just run yarn ios and uh, you should be able to uh, see that fabric colon true in your metro bundler which means uh, that uh, the new architecture has been enabled for your react native project next we will go to the documentation of fabric native components so we have to create a folder again the folder has been created outside react native project in this documentation but in our code we will create it inside otherwise we, you will face a lot of issues so i have created a folder called rtn google map uh, next you have to create this ios and js folder uh, sorry actually you don't need this ios folder uh, this this is uh, just part of my debugging i will let you know why you don't need this ios folder so we will be coding everything inside this main ios folder so next you have to use uh, create a js folder and create this file rtn google map native component dot ts again the file name should be same as that of your folder name otherwise you will face issue and i have copied everything from the documentation over here only thing change is this name and i'm just passing latitude and longitude from our react native side to the native side next we have to create this package.json file again i have copied everything from the documentation over here the package.json should not be inside the js folder but it should be a sibling to your js folder uh, the only thing that i have changed is this name uh, this over here uh, this thing rtn google map specs yeah that's it if you want you can change it over here as well but these are just like github links so you can ignore it next what you have to do is create a pod spec file so i have created rtn google dash map dot pod spec again i've copied everything from the documentation only thing that has been changed is this name h dot name rtn google dash google dash map next we will ignore android for now because i'm still working on android next you have to run this command but in this command we don't require double dot because our folder is already inside react native project so you will run something like this yarn add dot slash rtn google map then you have to do cd dot dot so suppose you are in your project root of your react native project i will do cd dot dot and then you have to run this command again you can find this command over here but uh, this leads a little tweaking like this should be your project name or folder name so this is my folder name here it should be your folder name and here also it should be your folder name followed by the full sorry this should be a project name followed by the folder name which you have created in over here they have not added the project name over here because the rtn center text is already outside react native project uh, for the documentation but in our case it is inside that's why we require this pro project name over here just run this command and it would do uh, all type of code generation for you so once that is done uh, so next what we have to do is that we have to go to this main ios folder you have to open the pod file and just uh, make sure uh, like before it here it might be something like minimum ios version it you have to make it 13.0 because google maps i think requires 13.0 uh, minimum ios target 13 or 12 or 0 but i guess 13 is fine because now all ios users have upgraded to 13 next you have to add this pod google map 7.3.0 okay next you have to generate a google maps key now i won't show you how to generate google maps key but you can just do ios quick start google maps and so ios quick start google maps so it will tell you how to uh, you know 
uh, generate an API key for your Google Maps project. So you can go to the use API key section and follow the, follow this thing. Uh, also, you might be aware of the popular library called React Native Google Maps. They also have a step by step guide on how to generate an API key. So you can follow that as well your choice. But the one thing which I noticed is that you need to register uh, your credit card or debit card. Otherwise, you won't get an API key like they have made even stricter now, like you need to register some uh, credit card or debit card. Otherwise, you won't get an API key. So once you do that, what you have to do is again, we will ignore all this code for now. Just follow me what I'm saying. Uh, trust me, this will work. Otherwise, you will face lot of issues. I have wasted lot of my time on working on this. Wasted is not right, not the right word, but you know what I mean. So you have to CD to your iOS directory and run this. So what it will do is uh, don't do pod install. After adding this, just don't do pod install. Otherwise, it will follow the old architecture. You have to do something like this. So first of all, it will do two things. It will install Google Maps for you, the pod, or as well as it will create a pod of your RT and Google Map as well. Next, what you have to do? open this main ios project uh, in xcode so here you can see my xcode project been open next i have to go to app delegate dot mm file here you have to first of all import google maps over here so if you check the documentation they have done something like at the rate import but this is an objective c plus plus file you can't do at the rate import if you follow the docs uh, you have to do something like this so this is also a little bit of headache uh, i would say and next in uh, this uh, did finish launching with options in this here you have to write this code and instead of my api key here whatever api key you have it should come over here next what you have to do is create this rtn google map dot h file so i have copied everything from documentation over here uh, which you can see uh, wait i show you okay so here is that i have copied everything from over here uh, the only thing that has been changed uh, is the file naming and this we need this google map header we need like we need to import google map so that we can use in the dot uh, objective c file as well so you have to import it inside header so you can use inside the objective c file c plus plus file and now i will tell you why i have not written the code inside this ios folder uh, like i have created this file but these are like where, where for my debugging so you can delete it like we don't require this ios folder the reason i have not moved these files to this ios folder is because our main pod of google maps is inside the uh, main ios project and it is not inside this ios project it might be possible that you can run a pod init command in the ios folder of rt and google map like i have not checked that but if you want you can try running that like i don't want to waste more time on this so uh, i so to use this pod which is present is inside the main react native project you can't use it from over here because this ios folder does not know anything about this ios folder later on they uh, they know each about they know about each other because we are running that pod install command right that's why the uh, react native creates a pod of this but now it doesn't know anything about this google maps so to use this google maps you do you have to create this inside the main react ios project itself so create this file next you have to go to rtn google map manager and create this file as well again i have copied from documentation only this file name has been changed and this properties has been changed because in our case it is latitude and longitude. Next, we have to create this main file which is uh, actual of use to us. So here again, I have copied everything from docs. This file name has been changed. 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 File name. The important thing over here is from the documentation, you would see a line something like this, but this won't work because uh, again, we have created this file inside the main iOS folder instead of the RTN Google map iOS folder. Uh, even I don't know why it doesn't work, but instead of this line, you have to write something like this. Otherwise, again, you will face a lot of issues. Next, again, copied everything from documentation. Only file name has been changed. Here I have created the UI view and this is our map view and this is the marker. Again, this is copied from documentation with file name changed over here. 
again this is copied from documentation and here uh, i have created a ui view initialized it and this is we are hard coding the width and height uh, this is necessary otherwise you won't see your map view like if you write only something like this on line 41 and not like line 42 you will not see your google map so again this was a lot of headache for me as well i know i have hard coded the width and height but you can pass the width and height from the uh, react native side as well so that's that's not a big deal uh, like once you pass the width and height uh, i will tell you how how you can use it from uh, the like there is uh, this method something like this like update props there is like update frames or something method is there uh, so you can use that like you can research on it if you want to but i have just hard coded this for now and here also inside the camera i have hard coded the latitude and longitude for now the reason why i have hard coded it because i require the camera instance inside the map view so you what you can do is that you can create your map over directly over here where you actually get the width and height but i don't want to do it because uh, actually get the latitude and longitude sorry not the width and height but i don't want to do it over here because if you keep changing the lat long it will reinitialize a new map view instance so i wanted to create a map view instance only once so here you can just give lat long dummy and this obviously gets override as soon as you pass lat long from react native side so you don't have to worry much about it but just because this map view requires a camera instance i had to create this there might be a better way of uh, doing this but yeah let me know in the comments below if you know of a better way again uh, and i have done this map view dot lo my location enabled yes uh, like if you want you can do it like if you want if you don't want you can set it as no also i have not added those required permissions of location in my info dot p list like this is there but if you want you can add it like I, I would recommend you to add it but yeah here we are not really getting the user's location right we are just passing the lat long from react native side but i will do a separate video on location as well so you can merge those two videos and if you want you can uh, do it inside your project next we are initializing the marker as well and marker dot map dot equal to map view now uh, we so the marker also requires the coordinate so i am setting the markers coordinate over here and if you want you can give a title and snippet as well but i have not uh, again you can send it from react native sites prop if you want to and here is the main code so whenever you send the lat long from react native side this get updated so we are updating the camera as well as we are moving the map views uh, map view to point to the updated lat long so if you want you can uh, set this marker over here as well but yeah and he again this is copied from documentation only the file name has been changed yeah nothing much what else let me see if i forgot anything so i already told you guys this also i think you can make this is deployment target at 13 over here and over here as well uh, over here as well okay next how to use it just go to app.tsx import something like this okay and here you can pass rt and google map so i i can show you a video as well of this so here you can see i have ran the application and it is uh, displaying sydney because uh, first i have uh, if you check i'm passing the lat long for sydney and now i am uh, change i would change it to agra which is in india taj mahal so i will change it and you will see it automatically uh, you know change it its uh, map use camera to uh, taj mahal so here you can see it got automatically fast refreshed or hot reload whatever you call it so yeah that's it for today's video thank you for watching bye